We call ourselves St. Philotheans, and indeed it is an honor and joy to be an Orthodox Christian in Athens, Georgia, named for the generous and brave saint of Athens, Greece. Some 70 or 80 years ago, there were a handful of Greek Orthodox families that would drive to Atlanta for Pascha and Christmas or to baptize their children, but it was far and the roads were not good in those days. Their names are Kazos, Gallus, Bacallus. They persevered for 30 or 40 years without a church in Athens until Frida de Cazos opened her home for a visiting priest to come one Saturday a month to celebrate the divine liturgy in her living room. Father Homer Gimenez and Father Petros Kopsahilis, both of blessed memory, were our strongest advocates from the Atlanta clergy. Father Petros was the chancellor at the time, and it was he who named the hopeful community after St. Philippe of Athens. In the late 1970s, as more Orthodox families moved to the area, we outgrew Frida's living room and started to meet at various Christian centers on the campus of UGA, the Methodist Center, then the Presbyterian Center, and the Episcopal Center. During this time, Kurt Nicely found a patch of land in Oconee County. On the very day they went to see the property, another church community arrived just a few minutes before and they wanted to buy the land. But when Father Michael Eccarino stepped out of the car in his black robe and long beard, the little boy who lived at the house shouted to his parents and said, it's the Pope, it's the Pope, we have to sell to him. On Sunday, August 15, 1999, the newly ordained priest, Anthony Salzman, celebrated the Divine Liturgy with us for the first time. He and Presbytera Christine arrived with their two boys, Stephanos, who was seven, and Maximos, who was just five years old. While Presbytera and Georgia Parthemos took the morning glories, the original Greeks of Athens, who were now in their 90s, out to lunch once a month, Kurt sat Father Anthony down and told it to him straight. We want you on campus, he said, because we are located next to the flagship university of the state of Georgia. Father Anthony joined the UGA Campus Ministry Association and established OCF as an official student organization at the University of Georgia. Father Anthony was also appointed to be the Southeast Regional Coordinator for National OCF Orthodox Christian Fellowship, which is a pan-Orthodox campus ministry. Father also is looking forward to the 27th Work Days weekend at the Diakonia Center later this month, a regional twice a year program that started with St. Philippe OCF students. Campus ministry is a big part of our church family, and the students, as we call them, are truly a blessing and a witness to our faith in Christ. Now it was time to build. Under the leadership of Paul Kramer, the building committee began to meet and planned and fundraise. God sent us Gwen Darden, a newly licensed architect whose faith in God and whose sympathy for us turned out to be quite a miracle. Gwen gave us architectural services way beyond our budget and we are forever grateful to her. With the blessing of Metropolitan Alexios, we broke ground on June 15, 2002. At the hierarchical divine liturgy that day, we had eight priests, including the then Father Sebastian of Marietta, who is with us today as our beloved hierarch. Two years in the making, we finally celebrated our Theonyxia, our door opening on 654, that is June 5th, 2004. What an inspiring celebration it was for His Eminence, Metropolitan Alexios, and a very special guest from Greece, Father Timotheos, the parish priest of St. Philothea Church in Athens, Greece, came and brought us a beautiful icon of St. Philothea that we have in our sanctuary. We hosted a banquet that night that was the start of our growing community in our new church. This is our 15th year, and all we can say is God provides. We all had to work hard, keep the faith, trust in God and in one another, to keep the doors of the church open. We cleaned secondhand kitchen equipment, we cleaned bathrooms, we baked, cooked, danced, and did everything we could to survive. Thanks to Barbara Nicely for her hard work of Marswood Hall rentals, and to the Athens Technical College Culinary School, who rented our kitchen for five years, things were looking up. In 2008, Takis Yakubu and Barb started the spaghetti dinners on Thursday nights, which continues today as not only a successful fundraiser, but also a beautiful community outreach. Barb, Steve, and the cooks work their magic at our Greek festivals every year, and 
people came from great food and plenty of Greek spirit and our church tours to learn about our faith. Things were chugging along and finally we could at least hire a cleaning service which made everyone happy. But most important, we celebrated the Divine Liturgy at our own altar and we received the Holy Eucharist from the hand of our own priest. We built a facility, now we had to build our ministries. Presbyterian Christine saw the need for programs and worked to establish a Sunday school program, a Philip Coast chapter, a bookstore, vacation church school, regular coffee hour assignments, an inquirer's class, and the greeters group. Often there were not quite enough people to do all that needed to be done, but the people that were here were mighty and gave generously of their time, talent, and treasure. People who understood what it meant to establish a new church and how important it is to our life in Christ and for our children. The Orthodox Christian Church is the pearl of great price, and we were willing to give all that we had to realize and be the body of Christ. Slowly, people started to learn about Orthodoxy and come and see. The church tours of the Greek festivals, the talks around the spaghetti dinner tables, Father's presence on campus and in the art community of UGA and OCAF were seeds that began to bear fruit. We started to grow, chrismating seekers into the Holy Orthodox Church, attracting Orthodox from nearby counties, between here and Atlanta, and sparking a return to Orthodoxy in those that had wandered away, even welcoming our aging parents who related to Athens. And of course, strengthening faith in our college students who stayed connected to the church during a time when many students were turning away from their upbringing and their faith in God. In the last 20 years, Father Anthony has chrismated 56 adults into the Orthodox Church. Also from the ranks of our OCF students, we have had two men become priests and five women become presbyteros. Since I fell there, well, I discovered the depth of Orthodox, but it's not just an ethnic identity, me being uh, Bulgarian, Orthodox, being baptized uh, there, but rather it is the meaning of life. It was indeed in St. Philothea in Athens, Georgia, where I discovered the pearl of great price. Hello, this is Father Theodore and Presbyter Stacey and Yoki Mamer from Holy Cross in Macon, Georgia. We are so thankful for Father Anthony's 20-year ministry to St. Philothea, and especially for both of us, we're so thankful for the way that he has and continues to influence our lives. He was so instrumental in my entering into the Orthodox Church and his accessibility and knowledge and just pure pastoral love for both Stacy and I. And we're so thankful for his, for his time and for his efforts and especially for his ministry to the college students, which he continues to do for the University of Georgia and the St. Philippeo community. Also, Presbyteria Christine, your ministry along with his has shaped mine and ours dramatically. We love you and we thank you. Father Nikolai and Rachel Mletkov, Father Theodore and Stacy Ammer, Presbytera Mari Morris, Presbytera Sophia Zafaris, and Presbytera Nicole Bryant Posnus. And we await good news on Misha Mletkov being ordained a deacon later this year. We have several students who went on to study theology, including Stefano Salzman, who received his theology degree from Aristotle University of Thessaloniki and works at the Ecumenical Patriarchate. Many of our students, having spent time at St. Philothé, have gone on to be active members in their church communities. Glory to God in all things. The history of St. Philothé Greek Orthodox Church includes the Bread for Life ministry, which is directly inspired by the philanthropic life of St. Philothé. Through the leadership and vision of Paul Kramer and Nino Lampson, we launched Bread for Life Incorporated to help the unemployed and the unemployable get back into society through workforce development in the hospitality industry. After months of planning, we established a reoccurring 12-week program using our church kitchen for culinary training and our classrooms for career education. The program is running at 85% employment rate of its graduates and in 2018 relocated to the Classic Center. Our 2019 Homecoming Weekend is a celebration of God's abundant mercy because what is impossible with man is possible with God. Through prayer and through Father Anthony's spiritual guidance, we are strengthened every day. 
programs such as the ONCD, Orthodox Natural Church Development, and the Council of Ministries were tremendous tools in shaping and improving the spiritual health of our community so that we can be a bright light on Mars Hill. Boasting new energy, new leadership, and new ministries such as Acts, Angel Tree, Bigger Vision, Mother's Morning Out, Men's Luncheon, Grief Support Group, Jail Ministry, Missions, and a new and improved choir are the fruits of Father and Presbyteria's vision and the intercessions of our beloved St. Philothea, the Great Martyr. We call ourselves St. Philotheans because, like her, the Great Lady of Athens, we give all that we have, all our gifts and our talents, and our treasures to be with our Lord and to share with others the love of Christ. May her prayers ever strengthen our beloved church family of St. Philothea Greek Orthodox Church in Watkinsville, Georgia, for many, many generations to come.